never did pay much attention to the names of the guys you were pitching against, did you, Sam? No, I hardly, from the time I come in back in 19, I won't tell you the rest of it, I, I never did study nothing but the numbers on the batters, that's all. I never did know no names of nobody. I didn't know one from the other. And they ah. said, you know who that you struck out? I said, who? He said, that's Hack Wilson. So he just not hit so-and-so home runs. I said, well, I didn't know him. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Satchel Page, when it comes to keeping the story of the Negro Leagues alive, there's two people I think about. Buck O'Neill and this dude, Satchel Page. Yeah, the charisma is what made Satchel so special. He had names for his pitches. So he didn't have fastball, curveball, changeup. No, not Satchel. Satchel had what he called his midnight creeper. He <laughs> had the two humper, the bat dodger, the hesitation pitch. He had the long tom, the short tom, the jump ball, the treble ball, the radio ball, the wobbly ball, the dipsy do. <laughs> and he also had a pitch that he called his b-ball. And how you know why he called it the b-ball? Because Satchel says it bees where I want it to be <laughs> when I want it to be there. So he had the entire package. So there's one story that ties the whole package together with the b-ball, bees where he wants it to be. <laughs> He's playing a game in Denver and take yes. us back to the times that we're in to well, reflect on that time. And, and I think and it is. Story. I think it's important that we understand the nature of that time and how African Americans were perceived. And so Satchel has a Satchel Page All-Stars. They're playing an all-white semi-pro team from the Coors Brewing Company. And so Buck O'Neill is playing first base for Satchel and his All-Stars. And, and Buck says the first kid from the Coors team gets into the batter's box. He digs in. So they've all heard of the legend. Oh, of absolutely. He digs in and he says Satchel throws him a fastball. Kid swung as hard as he could, topped it, dribbled it down the third base line. It stays fair. Say he beats it out, gets it infield hit. <laughs> About that time, one of the kids from the Coors dugout steps out on top of the dugout steps and he yells out, let's beat him, he ain't nothing but an overrated darky. Well, Satchel's nickname famously for Buck was Nancy, which is a whole nother story. We ain't got time to tell you that story. But anyway, Satchel looks over at first base. He says, Nancy, did you hear that? Buck said, yes, Satchel, I heard him. He said, Nancy, bring him in. So Buck says he turns, he motions for the outfield to take a couple of steps in. He says, Satchel looks over at first base, Harold. He says, Nancy, bring them all the way in. <laughs> Honest to God's truth, there were seven guys kneeling around the mound. Satchel Page and the catcher, and Satchel strikes out the side on nine straight pitches. He looks into the Coors dugout and he says, overrated darky hey and that all the guys came out to apologize to satchel and his teammates but buck o'neill swore to the day he died if he had one game to win and any choice of any pitcher from any era be this dude right here so you might beat him when he was out there messing around but when he was locked and loaded forget about it